Hi, my name is Ingrid Johnson. I'm a master's degree exercise specialist here in San Diego, California, specializing in exercises for people with Parkinson's. Today, I would like to talk to you a little bit about grief. When you get the diagnosis, you have Parkinson's. Your life is forever changed. Begin something known as a grief process. You may be grieving a potential future trip. You may be grieving a potential future time with your children and grandchildren. Either way, there is a grief process that begins. It starts with disbelief. It, start, it may then go on to anger, and then it could go on to denial, and then finally acceptance. But you get to decide what purpose and what approach that you're going to take with this grief process. You could decide, for example, that this means uh, that you are going to give your children and grandchildren a lot more love, spend more time with them. You could decide to take a trip of a lifetime, or you could decide to shut down. Shutting down um, is certainly acceptable for a while, but at some point you have to then decide what your, your purpose for the rest of your life is going to be and where movement fits in with that purpose. What I mean is this, that as you, um, as you live longer and longer, unless you put emphasis on movement, your movements are going to become weaker slower, smaller, stiffer, and you're not going to have the energy maybe to get even up out of your chair or off the toilet. So in order for you to not uh, be looking forward to needing help with your daily activities, you want to maybe look at movement as a gift and as a tool to uh, prepare your body to handle stress, older age, etc., etc. Now studies show that the uh, movement uh, can be a distraction and it also can be an inward focus. So both ways you can go with that if you are dealing with grief and movement while you're grieving. Another, of course, set of studies show that movement releases endorphins and serotonin. These are known as happiness hormones. Movement is equally effective, and studies upon studies have shown that it is equally effective as taking medication for depression. When you move, whether it's walking, hiking, biking, taking a yoga class or Pilates class, or like I teach boxing for Parkinson's, it naturally releases endorphins. So you don't have to try to um, make the movement release those natural endorphins. They naturally will release. And so that's the beauty of movement. Um, there's many other benefits, of course, to movement. Um, you will feel more energized. You will feel more vital. It's that oxygenates your muscles. So I want to encourage you to choose movement. It's a gift. It's a tool. It fills you with hope and joy. And it also is a way to re, uh, reflect on good times. Uh, it's a time to really kick in that healing process that is within you. So I encourage you to keep on moving. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.